hi this is Terry welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the midlife opportunities series and this week I am continuing on the concept of Terry 5.0 some of you know if you've been watching any of the videos especially the one on Tuesday where I talked about Zeke and Terry 5.0 uh, you'll have to watch that episode I think I'll put the link up here watch that episode as to what that means and why it's 5.0 Terry 5.0 makes sense because I'm going to be turning 51 in a couple weeks in April and I'm continuing to assess what I want and what I need in the world I was it, I was uh, out for a walk with my friend Julie the other day and I mentioned that it's really difficult for me to say this is what I want or this is what I need and she was really surprised. She was like, but you really look like you go for it and you're very intentional about the way you live. And I said, but a lot of times what I will do is I will assess where everybody else is at. I will assess what will probably be possible. And then I set that up as what I want or what I need. And I think it is based on um, some stuff from when I was a kid and I had to navigate certain situations and putting out there what I wanted was never really received very well or the people around me were a little volatile and I did not know how certain things were going to be received. So as a result, um, oh I heard this term, I think I read about it in a book called Source Fracture and um, so I'm working with my therapist on it so that I can get past whatever it is that makes me assess what the situation is before I say this is what I want and this is what I need. Because if Terry's going to be unleashed in 2022, then I really need to be able to define what it is that I want or what I need. It could also be tied to my um, perfectionism uh, or my desire for perfectionism in terms of if I put it out there and I don't achieve it, then what does that mean? Is that a failure? Well, as we've talked about in previous <laughs> episodes, experimentation and exploration um, are you know something we should be absolutely doing in midlife and failure should be our second favorite F word and I'll go ahead and put a link to that video up here if you didn't see it. So uh, letting go of that so that I can say this is what I want, this is what I need right now. Not being an asshole about it but making sure that it is something that is really a deal breaker that I really put that out there and and express it really as a you know, anyone denying it is a non-starter. And then other things may be open for negotiation to say, hey, this is what I want. And um, let's say I'm negotiating with Finn or I'm negotiating with, uh, with my work or I'm negotiating with Zeke, that we can figure out a way to navigate through that without me being afraid of putting what I want and what I need out into the world. You might be asking, why is this important? Well, if I can't show up for myself, how am I going to be able to show up for others in my life? Whether it's my kids, my friends, my partner, um, my clients. So it's really important for me to be able to uh, define what it is that I want or need, um, clearly articulate and express that and find ways of going after it so that not only I can get what I want but the other people around me can actually support me on that too because I think we all end up being better as a result of that and we you know, we can have better and stronger relationships um, in life as well. So definitely something I'm going to dig into this week while Zeke and Finn are off in um, Tahoe. I'll definitely be working with my therapist on this because I've identified this as really something that is core to um, just my overall personal development in um, just how I show up in the world. So I'm just curious to know, does anybody else have issues with this? Um, go ahead and drop a note in the, the comments if you do. And if you found a way to, that this really works for you, um, go ahead and let me know. I, I love learning from other people and how things work and uh, work for them or don't work for them. If you tried something and it didn't work, I'd love to hear that too because then um, potentially that's a pitfall that I can try to avoid. So this is all part of the ongoing experiment and also as I talk about in my book Piloting, Piloting Your Life, finding ways to design and live a life of my own creation because if I'm going to try to encourage other people to do that then I need to be able to do the same because I am not about the whole hypocrisy thing. So letting go of people pleasing, not being an asshole about it, but making sure that I'm clear about what, what it is that I want and what I need to really fully live I don't want to say my best life, but to really thrive in my life. So with that, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you've missed any of the videos in the Midlife Opportunity Series, I'll go ahead and have a link at the end and so you can just see the series of them. And with that, uh, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above, above all else, have some fun.